In this video, I am telling you to buy this, not that, for acne spot treatment creams. These are treatment creams that you can buy to put on those single juicy and inflamed pimples on the skin. Now they actually can be a very powerful addition to your acne skincare routine because they truly help resolve your pimples so much more quickly and they are actually great tools to help keep your hands off the skin so you can avoid picking or popping the pimples, which helps prevent scarring or hyperpigmentation on the skin. So if you have acne, these are crucial to have on hand, but there are so many options from patches to creams to options that are just a few dollars to those that are very expensive. So what is the best? I am breaking it all down for you here right now and telling you exactly what to buy and what to avoid. I'm Dr. Marin Locke, known here on YouTube as The Budget Dermatologist. Make sure you are subscribed for more skincare education and product reviews, and come say hi on Instagram at The Budget Dermatologist. This video is part three in my Buy This, Not That Acne series. The first two parts are linked below in the description of this video. Okay, so for all the options for spot treatments, here are the main categories that you will find. This is important for you to understand the layout here so you can pick the best product, so don't skip this part, okay? You can find spot treatments in two main general categories. There are patches and spot treatment creams. And in this video, part three, I am talking all about the spot treatment creams. Subscribe and turn on the notifications to stay tuned for the skincare patches for acne that I will tell you about in part four of my series. So let's talk about the creams. You will generally find that these products contain one or a combination of four main active ingredients, salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, sulfur, or a vitamin A derivative like retinol or retinol palmitate. And then there is another group that will have more natural ingredients that are not classified as active ingredients or regulated as FDA medications. So for these active ingredients like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, and sulfur, you will find these in various strengths and you can tell what strength you are buying by checking out the active ingredient section on the packaging. These can be low percentage strengths like 0.5% for salicylic acid or 2% for benzoyl peroxide or 1% for sulfur, or they can be the maximum strength, which is up to 2% for salicylic acid, 10% for benzoyl peroxide, and 10% for sulfur. These are the highest that you will find. So that brings us to our first decision point here, which ingredient is best for spot treatments? Here is my opinion. Buy this versed 10% sulfur spot treatment, not that, the clean and clear advantage spot treatment. But here's a disclaimer first, before I explain further, I do think any salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, or sulfur can be effective. But I like sulfur the best for spot treatments, so that is what I am educating about here. I love sulfur spot treatments because it absorbs excess oil. This is so powerful for unclogging pores and it is anti-inflammatory because usually those single juicy pimples are red and inflamed. So sulfur can really help resolve that component of the acne flare and it is antimicrobial. So it kills the acne causing bacteria associated with this pimple and it serves as an exfoliant. So it helps dead skin cells shed. So it really can get good penetration down into the clogged pore. Now in general, I have noticed sulfur is less drying and irritating to the skin than other ingredients like salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. So that is why I will try a sulfur spot treatment cream first. The other downside of benzoyl peroxide to keep in mind is that it can bleach clothing and towels that are not white. So it is really not the most user-friendly of these options. Now for our next decision point, what strength spot treatment should you get? Here is my recommendation. Buy this Neutrogena Stubborn Acne Spot Drying Treatment with 10% sulfur and 4% niacinamide, not that. Dermalogica, 5% sulfur and 4% niacinamide. And another disclaimer, the higher the percentage of the active, the more chance of irritation in general, but 
putting this on just a small surface area of that singular pimple location will give you results and you are at a low risk of widespread irritation. And remember, the higher the strength is going to give you quicker, more robust results. You can temper the strength by giving it less contact time as needed. So that means applying it and then washing it off after a few hours rather than leaving it on overnight, for example. And of course, it is never wrong or a bad idea to start low and build up to higher strengths as tolerated. Now, if you do want to try a benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid spot treatment, here are some of my buy this recommendations for maximum strength benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid spot treatment creams. For benzoyl peroxide, you can get a maximum 10% strength spot treatment from Acne Free for under $8. For salicylic acid, buy this, the Clear Genius by Bliss. It has 2% salicylic acid in it. This is one of your most affordable options here, under $10. Or you can buy this, an acne spot treatment gel by First Aid Beauty, or the acne control treatment by Murad. Now, I love all of these options because they have the actual percentage of the active ingredient listed, and they are simple formulations overall. And most importantly, they work. Next up, let's talk overall formulation and other added ingredients that really differentiate these products from one another. Do you need a product that contains, in addition to the active ingredient, like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide or sulfur? Do you really need these other calming ingredients like aloe or other treatment ingredients like bakuchiol and acids like glycolic or lactic acid or other botanicals or oils like tea tree oil and other drying agents like alcohols? Because remember, it is these added ingredients that I find brands really market heavily to differentiate their products and to justify this big price markup on the product. Because remember, the main active ingredient that is really doing all the heavy lifting work here is so affordable. Sulfur, salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, these cost pennies, but the products can actually be very expensive. So do we need to pay the premium for all these other ingredients? Here is my recommendation when it comes to all natural products for acne spot treatment creams. Now, it's going to be hard to find a product that is completely free of all these extra additives like soothing extracts and things like that. And remember, it's actually not totally necessary to avoid these because these can be nice on the skin, but overall, keeping the ingredient list as simple as possible is ideal. So for example, you can buy this, the Neutrogena Spot Treatment. I'm using the Neutrogena Spot Treatment again here as an example, not that. Burt's Bees Acne Solution. This one has multiple fruit and oil extracts in it, including tea tree oil for starters. And when placed on the skin in a thick layer or under occlusion, these can cause irritant contact dermatitis, which is a rash on the skin. And this product only has actually a very low percentage of salicylic acid in it, which just might not be enough to get the job done. And let me take a moment here to discuss tea tree oil for acne. This is one of the most common and popular all natural acne ingredients. It actually works to treat acne because it has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. But the problem here is that it has a high risk of irritant and allergic contact dermatitis side effects. And at the end of the day, while it may help some, it is just not as effective as the other active ingredients that I mentioned. So do not waste your time and money on spot treatments that are heavily focused on botanicals and natural ingredients if you want maximum benefit in the quickest amount of time. Again, I like to select acne spot treatment products that have a simple, clean formulation. And here is my recommendation when it comes to other acne treatment ingredients added in the product like Bakuchiol or retinol palmitate, for example. Buy this, any of the ones I already recommended, not that, Kinship Pimple Potion. This product has 2% salicylic acid in it and retinol in Bakuchiol, among other acne treatment ingredients. This is a case of more is not necessarily more. Yes, these are great ingredients for the skin, but they are not needed in a spot treatment that is aimed at drying up a bump and decreasing inflammation. I think that you are more likely to just get irritation rather than benefit from these. 
So save those powerhouse ingredients like retinaldehyde and bakuchiol for a dedicated treatment product for your entire face and avoid also adding them in your spot treatment creams. Next up, let's talk price. Is more expensive better for an acne spot treatment cream? Here are some price ranges that you can find on these products and how much I think you should spend on this product in your acne skincare routine. My favorite maximum strength sulfur treatment by Verst is about $18. Acne Free and Bliss are under $8. Neutrogena is around $15 to $20. Sunday Riley and Vichy have sulfur treatments for about $20 to $23. And then you can find some crazy prices like Dermalogica, middle of the road, $34. And Barbara Strum has a treatment product for $55, an acne spot treatment product. So let's look at that one, the most expensive one for $55. This one is really a glorified tea tree oil spot cream. It doesn't even have a single medicated active ingredient in it, not salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, sulfur, retinoid, not anything at all. This is absolutely not worth a large portion of your skincare budget. Remember, the great thing about acne treatments is the ingredients that actually work are so cheap. So never overspend on these products. And what about the Dermalogica one for $34? It's not a bad product per se. It actually does have a medicated ingredient in it, 5% sulfur, but it contains a lot of other extracts as well. Just go for the one by Verst or Neutrogena that are literally half as much and contain twice as much sulfur and better ingredients overall. So my opinion is that you can get a top notch spot treatment cream for under $20, definitely. So keep it simple, keep it focused on the active generic ingredient and save your skincare splurges for a different product not this one. Do not splurge on a spot treatment cream. That is your takeaway here. Absolutely do not. I have all of these products I mentioned and my top favorites linked in the description of this video. You can also check out my skincare storefront where I have all of these product collections from the first two acne videos in my series. Those are linked there as well. In my next video in this series, part four of my buy this, not that series, let's talk about pimple patches. So we just went into creams but you can also get a similar benefit from a patch that you stick on the skin. These have many pros and cons compared to creams. So hit subscribe, turn on the notifications so you see when that video launches. And I will tell you all about that up next. See you guys soon.